What's up, guys? Welcome back for the next episode of Horizon Forbidden West. We've got four skill points, because I keep forgetting to utilize them. What we got here? That's for... Machine Master... Spike Throwers... Huh. Infiltrator is stealth stuff. Survivor, of course. Trapper... Probably get at least the first level in a lot of this stuff. I don't use traps like at all though uh, Melee combo Okay I was trying to do that earlier, but it didn't work because obviously I didn't have it block breaker Yeah, sure. Let's learn this one Critical strike, deal more damage. I should probably try to increase the amount of damage that my uh, stealth thing does. Range damage while in stealth. More tear damage while in stealth. That actually sounds really good. Let's do that. Alright, extra damage. One more skill. Smoke bombs. Visibility. Range damage. Yeah, we'll do range damage. Nice. Okay, cool. So. I think I already equipped everything that I could anyway. Yeah, already got that on. Outfits. What do we got here? What do we got here? Defense against acid. Right now I've got concentration plus one equipped. Fire defense, shock defense. I don't even have any fire defense. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Right, uh, then I've only got these left. Can't really do much with those, so that's fine. Ammo that deals acid damage is now available in your inventory. Weak to acid, hitting enemies with acid, build up the corroding state. Once you're in that, armor takes damage over time, reduce damage resistance. Okay, so you shoot acid with acid and it explodes. Got it. So what's. Oh, okay. Then I can make more of that with metal by no, yes, I, I know, thank you. Cool, cool. I guess I'll wait to use those. I just need to find and help him clear the bristlebacks. Okay. Let's start going around here then. Got a new quest. That's a wall. Hey Milda. Milda, I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. Kept me going for a week. Felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. It sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <laughs> Where's the cat chefs? They probably all got taken care of. Since I'm in the turned into the stew themselves. You could skip to what it is you wanted. Some of your food? Oh, of course. How did you end up in Chainscape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. I guess they liked my food. More than ale. Maybe both. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. 
I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in the scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Smildaf. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. <laughs> Rockman, that's very unhygienic. He's. His sweaty hands are touching everything. Man, it's just adding a little bit of salt. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm assuming I don't already have this stuff. Ah, I need two more bitter leaf, and I need to go to the scrounger site. So let's go do that. I guess I'll activate this too while I'm at it. All right, there's a quest down here. The bristlebacks threat. What do you want, Olvert? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that, you're so wrinkly. You have to do is have your soldiers <laughs> remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So you're, hey, hey, don't insult a sweaty yourself. chef. That's just yard work and love we're adding to your dishes. <laughs> exactly. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Frio. At your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and... The embassy? Why, well, by the forge. Ah. Greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osirum lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work, while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people, for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town. But with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then... I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Yeah, okay. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Alright, so we've got a little ways to travel for all of this. It's all places we've already been so far, so that's not too bad. Let's go. 
There's nothing we can't handle. Right. likes to grow on rocky terrain. Yeah. I can already see a few more over there. Oh, more right here. Okay, Bam. I think I have enough bitter leaf. Yep, gotta restock a little bit on the ridge wood as well. Maybe one or two more, and then I'll be back up to a hundred in my inventory. There there we go. Alright. On to the site. Try not to deal with many threats along the way. I said not deal with any threats along the way. Dagnabbit. You know, I'm a little surprised there aren't like blighted out areas in this. That's something that was introduced in this game, I believe. Uh, there's this new form of plant growth and stuff that's spreading around and killing wildlife and whatnot called blight. It's this red kind of leaf. Scroungers. Oh hey all of you guys. Getting knocked around on this hill. I'm not gonna wipe. I'm not gonna watch that Blight movie. That movie sucks. <laughs> okay. I'm to look through the scrap piles for a metal panel. As soon as I get all this crap. Already grabbed from that one. But you, it doesn't have red flowers in it? That doesn't make any sense. And you don't know that. You never watched it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's interesting. Could jump up there. Lies, you didn't watch it. Everything I need from Mildiv? Got it. That thing too. I can use a decent meal. Well, I can take down boars in one shot now, that's good. Yeah, having an upgraded bow is definitely gonna help with uh, a lot of this stuff. It's always good to have extra. 
head on back and finish up that quest. Maybe I can even break some of these parts off when uh, they're not aware of me. I can actually break those off in one hit. It's good. Better to only shoot their antlers one time to get them. Disassembled. Love to see it. Yeah, that was much more, uh, much more efficient with an upgraded bow. I just have to get a bigger quiver, and then uh, yeah, I won't have to be constantly making new arrows. Can't remember what we upgraded our resource gathering thing to hold. It's 150, 175. What is it? Well, it's not 150. 200? Could be 200. We'll see. There's 175. Yeah, get a rock. Hell yeah. Mm, thinking it might be 200. Not even using these rocks. Just keep picking them up. <laughs> you welcome, <laughs> ah, there you are. I happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. Mm -hmm. It was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Instead of two. Uh, each journey began Nailed it. <sighs> Although you did give him another valuable recess. Or, or, or another, another valuable resource, but like more of it. So like, I don't know if that's really standing up for yourself.
Yeah, what a rebel, I know, right, Rockman? What a rebel! Wow! Mild, if that was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. Your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. He just straight up poisons his meal. <laughs> oh god. No. Don't do that. That's too much. Might be a good idea to stock up on some food before I head back out. Machine strike. Mm, see what else Mildiff's cooking. Ah, come to revel in some strike, sister? Let me set the board. I was just passing by. I... Mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set. A Tanakh original straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special if you win it on my boards, too. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, why not? All right, let's start off simple. The Tanakh like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine, and each machine is worth a different number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? That there is how many victory points you'll get for destroying that machine. Notes also tell you how far a piece can move, how powerful their attacks are, the distance they can strike from, and of course, their health. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm, and move it forward. <laughs> Hobo, I was immediately disinterested in this minigame. Gwent, it is not. Remember, yeah. each take a look at your notes if you need a one. Easy enough, huh? Now, you get to move two machines each round, so go ahead Perfect. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces. This is not five-dimensional chess. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece close enough to it when performing an attack, you'll be testing your machine's combat power against the opponent's. A machine's combat power is a combination of the terrain your machine is standing on and its own attack power. This and your current machine has two points. So in total, your ma since my machine isn't the one attacking, and just like your machine, so right now, the different this means your machine can do two points of damage to my machine. Did you get all that? Yeah, sure. You were a smart one. <laughs> Finish off by attack. Not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine. See how your machine can't? You can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. Try it out. Downside to sprinting is that your machine can now some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in case Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. So use at your own discretion Let's try doing that now so you can see what I mean Just wants me to weaken my piece. I get it That's about it for your turn then
Now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Now let that machine have it. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards towards my remit. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But if you overcharge your machine, you can attack a second time. And by the look of your machine's health, you'd be sacrificing your piece to defeat mine. But sometimes that can be a good thing. Overcharge your machine to attack mine a sec- Ain't that a thrill? Now, because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're gonna receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. That's why sometimes losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor. Now, You'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time, but you did destroy all my pieces. That means you're the winner. That wasn't so hard, was it? Just remember to always check for the best terrain to attack from. You'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. And it would save my behind in the game or two. I'll try and remember that. Oh, before I forget, these are all my spare pieces. I want the Savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. You might even fancy looking out for them strike coffers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn the game in your favor. Though they'll need the right materials to craft you. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. No, I've lost my fair share of pieces after <laughs> Night of machine hunting or boo hopping. <sighs> no need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. Now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. Thanks. Oh, uh, think about it. Yay! I can't wait to never Be play that ever again. <laughs> Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olven grading the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! Ah. Don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. Lost some good people. But I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take them down. Did they come through here? Stopped by briefly for supplies. Olvind was none too pleased. Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the Bristlebacks are gone. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. 
He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. Hmm. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, Flame Hair. All right, let's go fight stuff. Everything else in town is pretty much locked up. Savior, thank you for taking the time. And my condolences that you had to endure all Vince bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's... It's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way. The only way I know about is barren light. If you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvind up. Yeah, okay. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth... Maybe Ulvund will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Yeah! Back for that free meal? Go on, peruse my menu. All right, what we got? What we got? Can't choose anything. Okay. Guess I can't choose anything. Cool. Never mind. Where the heck's the exit to this place? There we go. Alright, so what have we got going on? Uh, let's see. A bunch of unknown things. Mission we're currently on is errand here. Bristlebacks. Search west of the quarry. And I did all those. So, I guess we'll do this for now. Let's, uh... Travel a bit. So right now that meal that I got is giving me 325 HP as opposed to 260. So hey, that's pretty good. Alright. Did I clear my quest? I think I did. There we go. Place looks a little beat up. I think are the bristlebacks boars? They look like boars. I hope Aaron and the other vanguard are okay. Ground soaked with acid. Did the bristlebacks do this? Maybe. Maybe not. One of them? She yep. By acid. acid bristleback. Grinder discs. Okay. Well, I could shoot those with my uh, new acid ammo. Hey, you! Make it worth your while if you kill these scroungers! It's 
It's all or something. Hold tight. I'll see what I can do. Try luring them into the tripwire. I'll give up the hunt soon enough. <laughs> Okay. Saved your life. Tripwire's handy. Young game. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper like. You see you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback headed south. Then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the dawn, you're gonna want a tripcaster. Not just any tripcaster. One of my make. Free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. Been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, well, accidents. Sweet. I should get going. Thanks for the trip, Caster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a trip caster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So I aren't headed south. Should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Neat. Can I grab this? Probably can. Okay. Yep, shock damage will shock build up. Shocked for limited times. Cannot move. Okay, so it's stunned. It's got it. Can I grab this? Yeah. Sweet. One metal shard for that, huh? That was totally worth the time. Right, well, anyway, that is going to do it for that episode. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit that, that uh, like button, leave a comment down below, so on and so forth. Watch on the stream. Stick around. Keep on playing. Probably go for, like, one more episode, I think.